Okay, head coach Ross of Attack's Gym Muay Thai, Bare Knuckle Muay Thai Self Defense Channel. Uh, behind the camera is my friend Scott helping me out. It's my friend Jabari. Okay, you guys asked me about this several times last week. A move I use going into the clinch and applying it as a submission hold and adding in the headbutt and the knees and elbows. Okay, this is what I did step by step. Squaring off. And <clears throat> initially, I entered with a kick, with a faint kick, and make it raise up my palm, like look at the birdie. So, what I did was, this kick right here was simply a feint designed to make him look down. At the same time, I fired my left palm here. Then I switched feet. His foot came down and my left knee came across and hit the thigh. As I pierced through the hands and went for the clench and pulled him to the side. It looked like this. So, here, look at the birdie, switch, bam here, bring this knee in. Boom, make him move, and I lock this here. Just breaking him down, you see that? His right palm, his palm's facing down. Left palm is facing up at the sky. So you're forming a scissoring, slicing-like motion. His left hand is moving in like a karate chop here. Forearm is moving in here. At the same time, I'm doing this lock. And as you can see, I'm already turning his head to right where I want it to be. This is where the headbutt came, bang, here. Shifting to the choke. That's one finish there. The other one, the th on the third match, is when I hit him here, <clears throat> I couldn't get the headbutt all the way because he had turned all the way here. So I continued with the motion, snapped him into the knee, pulled his head into the knee, boom, pulled, whipped him the other way, and fired the other knee. Boom, here. That's when I stepped, stepped down, I actually stepped on him, but for the purposes of the video, I just pulled over here and snapped his body this way and pulled him right back into the knee. Boom here, that's when I took, released my left hand, took my right palm and wrapped it around his left ear, pulled him and fired down. Bang! That was how I ended. Elbow coming down. Knee was on him, elbow coming down. Okay? Now you guys are probably wondering why I use so much force in this situation. It's because we were geared up so I knew he wouldn't be hurt that much. Plus he was 125 pounds heavier than me. Uh, he's 275, I just got to 150. And uh, I'm 5'7", and he was 6'5". You guys remember that. So that's why it happened that way. So if you have any questions or comments, leave it at the end of the video. This is Head Coach Ross of Attacks Gym, Bare Knuckle Muay Thai, Self Defense. Helping me out, my friend Jabari. Behind the camera, super producer extraordinaire Scott of CV Nation, Costume Vigilante. You guys check that out. It's on YouTube right here, and it'll be on DVD soon. You might see somebody you recognize. <laughs> it's head coach Ross of the Attacks Gym. Thank you very much for your time.